Okay, so this is a quick update on the SCAR printer. So as of now, uh, this version is broken uh, just because of the way it worked. Uh, there was tension in the belt, which caused a bunch of like tension going from this belt to here. And because the forces weren't symmetric on either side, um, it pulled this arm down, like way down, and caused some pieces to crack in here. Uh, I could probably fix it but I feel that it would be better just to come up with a new idea. Um, and part of that new idea is this. Um, so right, this is the first like first revision of this harmonic drive that I built. Um, so as you can see, uh, the movement is really, really smooth on it. Um, right now, the input shaft is moving at uh, about 520 RPM. Um, and the output shaft is doing about 33 degrees per second. Um, I can do about 50 degrees per second on the output shaft, but past that, uh, the stepper motor can't really handle it. Uh, so as it's set up now, um, the drive belt is a 40 tooth GT2, um, and then it goes on to a large pulley, which is 116 teeth. Um, and that's like a 2.9 to one reduction ratio. And then inside, um, in here you can see the harmonic drive, so this white belt is kind of like uh, the flex spline in a harmonic drive, um, and the harmonic drive itself is a 35 to 2, or, th or what is it, a 65 to 2 drive ratio. Uh, so when you put those two together, uh, you get about 95 to 1-ish. Um, and you can make that ratio go up or down depending on what the pulley size here is. So let's say if I wanted a, a 200 to 1, I could go down to like a 16 tooth pulley. Um, or if I wanted it to be even bigger or a lower drive ratio, I could just make that pulley bigger. Um, I found that the 40 tooth is like a good medium between speed, well, speed if that's your max speed, um, and like accuracy and torque so if you like if i put all of the pressure i possibly can i can't stop this thing from being driven it's almost impossible to stop um i'm probably going to do some torque tests later this week um but right now i think this type of drivetrain um is the future of this printer um so instead of having like on this one, both uh, motors are stationary. Uh, I'm having one motor be attached to this, so it kind of this the motor that drives the proximal joint uh, will spin as the proximal joint spins, and then the second drive or the elbow joint for the distal arm will basically just have one of these harmonic drives bolted to the side, and that'll drive this. Um, it'll increase the weight of the arm, but because of uh, the well, this drive has no backlash just because of the tolerances and the way it works. Um, I'm not really worried about the weight and the slop of it um, because this drive system is so much so much stronger um, than the double pulleys that I had before. Uh, so right now, this is, I believe, the second day of wear testing I've done on it. Um, so right now, I've done about 300 revolutions of the output shaft. Um, each direction. Um, this is another hundred, um, and that's that's a lot of spinning. That's like three thousand revolutions, thirty thousand revolutions. I, I don't know, um, but over time it seems to be getting smoother. Uh, just kind of wearing the details, um, like the the misprint parts out. Um, overall, I'm really happy. As I said before, I'm probably going to do a torque test later today. Um, to see what, or later this week, to see what the maximal torque is, um, and do a test to find out what the backlash, like that, the realistic backlash is on this, um, if there is any. Uh, but overall, I'm really happy with how this drive came out. Um, it's it's a little bit heavy because I have the NEMA motor on there, the NEMA 17, the Fat Boy. Uh, but if you go down in if you go down in pulley size. Uh, you can reduce the size of that motor, uh, so I could get the whole 
assembly to be just that thickness there rather than having the motor stick out on the side. Um, but overall, I am pretty happy with how this works. Uh, it's probably my best engineering feat I've made just by how smooth it is for it being entirely 3D printed um, and how well it runs. Um, so yeah, that's it. I got this pretty cool harmonic drive and this nice blue built. Um, and it runs so unbelievably smoothly for it being completely 3D printed. Um, and it's in such a small footprint that I am, I'm super happy with this.